Yo, what up guys? This is Torsten, and here's some advanced tricks that you can use to improve your loop station skills. And the first step is to um, improve your rhythm skills. There's a lot of skilled loopers uh, that have problems with um, keeping tempo with the first beat you have. So a lot of the times uh, the beat will sound like dum da, dum dum da, dum da. And you wanted to say one, two, three, four, one, two, three, four. And um, I think the reason why people have a hard time with this is because they haven't synchronized their mouth with their hands and their body. And a good trick to learn how to be more tighter is to uh, tap on the side of the loop station so you know exactly when you have to press again to make the tail of the looping. So... And here's my second trick, and it's about mic technique. You're trying to make a beat, and um, we all know as a beatboxer, we uh, close our mics to make our beat sound more full, and thick. So um, for drums, I I do it like this. But if I wanna sing a melody, um, it's not good to do it like this. You can hear why. It sounds okay, but listen now when I stop closing the mic and I take it down like a singer. And uh, it's actually a really good trick um, to just switch it. You can do it like this. So, and then like this really fast. And, and this is really good because then you can go from uh, beatbox technique to singer technique just with a finger. It's really nice. So, instead of this... It will be like this. And a really important thing to remember is that you have to, every time, you, uh, you have to fade in and fade out. So you get a nice start and a nice tail of every tone. So. And uh, for singer, for singing, it's really nice to have some reverb going on. So, and for my third trick, I will be talking about layering sounds and um, it's really important it's I, for me it's where i started to layer my sounds it was where i really got like next level beats and um, first you you want to be making a beat of course and the beat can sound like so here you have really simple kick snare kick snare and um, for snares, you can be uh, my example for today will be like and over top of the snare that is already in there. So can you hear how louder it gets and uh, it gets a new sound of it? It's like a whole new beatbox sound. And um, the other snare. So it's it's more like you feel it, you feel it more now, and uh, for the kicks um, you have to to like think like a producer. That's the important thing. So first I have this kick, and this kick 
on the on the sound is more like it's a little high but uh, still a little low kick it has a lot of things so if i wanted to add another kick it would be like uh, i will try to get some really low frequencies so uh, i invented i tried like a lot of things and i came up with uh, And now it sounds like a whole different beat compared to the first recording, so... And this trick you can use for everything, like you can use it for singing, you can use it for bass, you can use it for your melodies, and you can use it for all the sounds that you want. And uh, I want to show how you can do with, with the bass, and my example for today is I have a throat bass and I have a sub bass, and the sub bass is uh, generated by guitar to bass uh, effect by just humming in it. So, uh, the bass, uh, throw bass is like this. <coughs> like. I layer the top of uh, with a sub bass. Now it already feels like a more full track. Then we have the melodies, and here I want to showing how you really easy can get a really good chord out of nothing. And you don't even have to be trained uh, in singing with this. The only thing you have to do is just holding a tone, putting the, the first beat on, and on the first hit, you just say, And you can keep on layering the same note on and on again and it will be much louder and it will have its like own sound. It will end up sounding like a lot of people are singing the same note at the same time. And then you can layer up with uh, other harmonies like... So uh, this was my advanced loop station tricks for today. I hope you enjoyed it and I hope it helped you to improve your loop station skills.